shoulder and state your bi- I'm looking for Israel Putnam. On whose orders? Samuel Adams. Follow me. This is not Bunker Hill. Aye, it's Breed. There's been some disagreement as to where we should encamp. Any news from Boston? The Tories aren't moving. And any time we try to press them, we lose a dozen men. I think Putnam and the others plan to assemble artillery on these hills. A good shelling might make the Red Coast rethink their strategy. And what of John Pitcairn? That bastard's the cagiest of the bunch. He's appeared time to time to taunt us or send regards by way of cannon fire. It's all right, though. He'll have what's coming to him soon enough. Putnam's just up ahead. You can't miss him. I don't care much for your excuses, Jeffrey. We should be building on Bunker Hill. Breeds is closer to the city, but it is also closer to their artillery! I risk my case. I'm going back to Bunker Hill! Good day, gentlemen! General Putnam. What? I'm looking for him. I was told you would be able to help me find him. He's stuck away inside that city with no reason to leave. As long as that ship continues its assault, we'll never flush him out. But if the ship was silent... Oh, then Putnam might be forced to get off his arse and come forward. I shall fly the flag to signal my success. And I shall speak fondly of you at your funeral.
better numbers, you say. Better weapons, better training. But I do not fear. And neither should you. For what they have in material, they lack in conviction and care. But not us. We have discipline. We have order. And most importantly, we have passion. We believe. So maintain vigilance. Serve your ammo. Ensure a proper line of sight. And above all else, men, do not fire until you see the whites of their eyes. I'll be damned. <laughs> you did it. That was quite a speech. Lies, all of it, I'm afraid. Still, such words have carried us thus far. And what a pit power. He's left Boston. As I said, he would. He set up camp on Bolton Hill. There's no good way to get at him. Not with that maelstrom growing down below. I suppose you could circle around a bit and wait for us to thin their ranks. There is no time. I will have the chance to direct approach. That's twice today you've proposed the impossible. I see no other choice. Not because you're mad as a March Hare, son. I expect an apology on my return.
How dare you sneak up on me like that? Why don't you just go out there and just help this camp retreat? Don't ever do that again, you hear me? God damn it! General Putnam. You live. The same cannot be said for Pitcairn. Well done, I suppose. <laughs> but it matters little now. I'm ordering a full retreat. We have lost too many in exchange for too little. If the Tories want this hill so badly, let them have it. Boston is the true prize. We have a bigger problem. What do you mean? This can't be right. It says they plan to murder Washington. My enemy is tenacious. When money failed them, they took to force. But I have slain Johnson and Pitcairn both, ending their plots. George Washington now rallies the colonists, and their march towards freedom begins in earnest. Little wonder, then, that the Templars now want him dead. They seek to reshape this land into something cold and ordered, something soulless. And he is an obstacle. I must save him, that his cause can flourish and my people remain safe. But the more I prod, the greater the chance I am discovered. The Templars believe their men lost the revolution. In their eyes, the assassins are gone and scattered, no longer a threat. But I fear they will soon discover the truth, and me along with it. I must tread carefully. How fares the hunt, Connor? There is progress, but I worry it is not enough. You must strike where you need it most. What if you pursue Charles Lee and your father? What then of Paul Revere and the soldiers at Lexington? Soldiers? There were no soldiers in those towns, only men and women who were forced to defend themselves. Is this not why you fight? To protect your people? Your struggle is the colonist's struggle. In helping one, you help the other. Encouraging words from one who thought mine a fool's errand. <laughs> Make no mistake. I still do. But I can't help but feel some pride in your success. And why should I give you any credit? Then don't. But uh, first, return the robe and the blade and the, and the darts and all of the years of training and knowledge I have bestowed upon you. Return these and then your words may have some merit. Or you could just admit that you are wrong. Oh, child, please, you've killed two men. One more salesman than soldier. You're gonna have to try a lot harder than that to impress me. Is that so, old man? Or perhaps we should step outside. I will gladly demonstrate how easily I could... Trounce. Connor, this is Benjamin Talmadge. His father was one of us, no need for secrecy. I think he has something he wants to say. Achilles tells me you've uncovered a plot to murder the Commander-in-Chief. Yes, but I have only false starts and dead ends to show for it. Not anymore, my friend. Thomas Hickey's your man, and I aim to help you catch him. How? I'll explain on the way. You and I are going to New York.
So what is your stake in all this? Same as yours. Peace. Stability. A land in which all might live side by side. Free and equal. Why not join the Brotherhood, then? My father was an assassin. Quite good at his job, too, as I understand it. But... I hope to have children someday. It's hard to live in two worlds at the same time. So, I chose to live in one. I understand. I still contribute as I can. That's why we're here now. What can you tell me of Thomas Hickey? He has been running a counterfeiting ring in the city. Locate the source of his operation, and we can have him arrested. He cannot harm the commander if he is in prison. Do you know where he is? Not exactly, but I have an idea where we can begin the search. There are rumors of bad bills being circulated here. No doubt they come from Thomas. What are you up to? This isn't money, it's colored paper! You've cheated me for the last time! God! Not so mad as if I'd got the court. 
tired. We've got most everything we need for the job now anyway. Let's go tell her. I'll warn the others. When you feel ill, call upon the services of a qualified physician. The city's medical register is always at your service. In today's New York Chronicle. wants everyone back at the shop. Says we strike tonight. Be worried about that business with the guards. I'm telling you, it's nothing. I haven't had a spot of trouble since I slipped away. Of course, I'm taking care to keep my distance. I can't believe we're really gonna do this. We'll be heroes. The ones who ended all this talk of revolution. They'll set us up like kings, they will. Huh? Revolution. A bunch of troublemakers looking to upset the apple cart. Some fool filled their heads with rubbish, ruining it for the rest of us good folk. Good folk? Really? Of course. You and me and him. Just hard luck lads trying to survive this cold, cruel world. <laughs> What's this? Thomas Hickey? Might be. What's it to you? Huh. Ain't supposed to be none of your kind left. Suppose I'd best be rectifying that then. Get him!
There's another one! Grab him! Be still. You will do no more harm. You're a right fool meddling in affairs you know nothing about. Washington's the only thing keeping the Continental Army together. You kill him, you end all hope for freedom. Wrong, boy -o. With him gone, they'll have no choice but to promote Lee, and then... You are both under arrest! Oh, well, we were just having a scrap, officer. Ain't nothing wrong with uh, two men settling their differences the old-fashioned way. Can't we come to a... Quiet! What are the charges? Counterfeiting! I had nothing to do with that. Of course not! Listen, there are more important things at stake here. This man is planning to... Ah. You... You missed me, sweetheart. What? Nothing to say. If you are here, then Washington is safe. True, true. Thing is, I believe I've just been pardoned. Thank you kindly for the rescue, gents. There can be no further mistakes, Thomas. Am I understood? What about this, the assassin? Yeah. He's here. They put him in a cell right next to mine. Guess we didn't get them all, eh? Deal with this, Charles. At once, sir. What are we gonna do? You're that boy from the Continental Congress. Adams's little lapdog. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Yes. Two birds with one stone. Do tell. All in good time. It's not like the assassin's going anywhere. For now, we should see about getting you better accommodations here. What are you on about? I thought I was getting out. I'm afraid you won't be leaving for a while, thanks to Benjamin Talmadge. He's been running his mouth, saying all sorts of things. You're being investigated for plotting to assassinate George Washington. What a bunch of bollocks. I thought you was going to handle that. We'll discuss this elsewhere. Planning to escape. We should get in on it. Yeah, and what makes you think that? Caught him carving something in the yard. Slipped it in his pocket real quick when he saw me. Looked like a key. Probably just a shiv. Nah, Mason ain't a fighter. Always talking and tricking his way out of trouble. Weasel Weems, they call him. Stinky bastard. Come on, Finch. He's not so bad. Even taught me some letters once. Gonna write a note to my lady. Ha! <laughs> what for? You think that whore's out there pining for you? Saving herself for when you get out? Huh? No doubt she's already moved on to the next fella, and the fella after him. You shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Easy now. It was just a joke. Yeah. Well, it wasn't very funny. Trouble or you'll wind up in the pit. What 
are you looking at, half-breed? You not understand English? That it? Do I need to knock some sense into that thick head of yours? I should try and find this Weems fellow. If he intends to escape, perhaps he can help me. Mason Weems? Could be. I need your help. Oh? They say you know a way out of here. They say a lot of things. I do not have time for games. A shame. As I was hoping you might play one with me. Fine. Are you familiar with the rules? Seeing as you already know mine, what's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. Well played. So, what brings you to Bridewell? Treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. You do not believe me? Why should I? You have the look of a brute. <laughs> you misjudge. I am an honest man. And yet, also a man imprisoned. Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a private matter. As is what you ask of me. I was trying to prevent a murder. Oh! Anyone I know? George Washington. The others put you up to this, didn't they? Thought it might be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Fools, a lot of them. To make light of something like this? George Washington is brave beyond measure. Loyal like a brother, peerless in character, and unshakable in his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator. Destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. Then you understand why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. You're serious, aren't you? Very well. It's going to take some doing. See, everything hinges on the key I forged. But that loud finch stole it. it. Took me three months to make the thing, too. <sighs> you need to get it back, or we're not going anywhere. Consider it done. He is useless. What are you looking at? You in the market for us, Bin? Your key is useless. What do you mean? It did not fit the lock. It's not meant to. You forged a key that does not work. 
Well, that all depends on what you mean by work. It'll get us out of here. Just not the way you expected. Then how? You're going to use it to get the real key off the Warden. You have to swap yours for his. Why not just have me take the real key? Why all this extra work? He might notice if it went missing. This way, he'll be none the wiser. And when he tries to use it? He won't. That's why we're targeting him. How do I reach the Warden? Yes. This next part, you may not like. Oh, as if I've liked the others. Out with it. You need to pick a fight. What? Pick a fight, and they'll throw you in the pit. And how in the world does this help us? The Warden oversees the pit. Getting sent there is the only way to reach him. I give you credit. You've given this plan to risk my life a great deal of thought. Take down as many as you can. One or two will only serve to entertain the guards. You need to make them angry. We all have our part to play. Try not to die. yourself a troublemaker, eh? Some time in the pitch to cool your blood. Look at all of you, pathetic, dirty wretches. You're not but swine, suckling at the teats of civilization, thieves and scoundrels all. And do you acknowledge this? Do you repent and beg forgiveness? No. You elect instead to commit new and more terrible crimes inside what should be a place of rehabilitation. You bide your... Need to take care not to raise the alarm. Stop you. You come back here. No, yeah, no. Stay right there. Get back here. You'll find Hickey through that door. It's where they keep the important prisoners. Nicer rooms, more space, those sorts of things. It seems even in prison, who you know makes all the difference. Thank you, Mason, for everything. I will find a way to repay the favor when my work here is finished.
Not who you was expecting, am I right? What have we here? I thought we'd finished off your kind. You would like that, wouldn't you? To rid the world of all who do not share your views. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Your meddling in the revolution has caused us no small measure of grief. It cannot continue. Our work is too important. But what would you know beyond all the lies Achilles feeds you and the tales you tell yourself? I know that the people wish to be free and that men like Washington fight to make it so. Please, the man is weak. He stumbles and stammers through each engagement, making it all up as he goes along. His pedigree is pathetic, his military record even more so. I could go on and on, but we'd be here for days. So manifold are his faults, so deficient are his merits. He must be dealt with. You as well. I will abide no more flies in the ointment. Here's how it's gonna work. First we bind you and bring you to your cell. Then tomorrow, you go before the court, accused of plotting to kill good old Georgie. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we could pin the murder of uh, the warden on you too. You did kill him after all. And who wouldn't take the word of Charlie over here? Hmm. Once that's all squared away, well then. <laughs> those years ago. The child in the forest was you. I said I would find you. <gasps> and so you have. But not quite as you had expected, am I right? Mm -hmm. You know, all of this might have been avoided had you only done what I asked. Ah, uh, but what's done is done. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, Connor. Didn't think I'd miss your going away party, did ya? <laughs> I hear Washington himself is gonna be in attendance. Hope nothing bad happens to him. You said there'd be a trial. Oh, no trial for traitors, I'm afraid. Lee and Haytham sort of that. It's straight to the gallows for you. <laughs> I will not die today. The same cannot be said for you. That's enough! Keep moving!
You are not alone. Only give a cry when you need us. Forget about me. You need to stop Hickey. He's... Uh, up you go. Don't want to be late now, do we? You just had to be an hero, didn't you? You and Georgie both. Now you see what it gets you. A pine box and little else. Brothers, sisters, fellow patriots. Several days ago, we learned of a scheme so vile, so dastardly, that even repeating it now disturbs my being. The man before you plotted to murder our much beloved general. Indeed, what darkness or madness moved him, none can say, and he himself offers no defense, shows no remorse. And though we have begged and pleaded with him to share what he knows, he maintains a deadly silence. If the man will not explain himself, if he will not confess and atone, what other option do we have but this? He sought to send us into the arms of the enemy, and thus we are compelled by justice to send him from this world. May God have mercy on your soul. Make the stop, Hickey. Go! Live to see another day. Shame. I want answers. Why did Johnson try and buy my people's land? Why was Pitcairn targeting Adams and Hancock? What purpose would Washington's murder have served? Why does your order support the British? How should I know? The Templars, Lee, the big man, Haytham. They asked the money, they asked the power. That's the reason I threw him with them. That's the only reason. Sure, they have some sort of vision for the future, too. I didn't give a damn about any of that. They can sing their songs about mankind and its troubles. They can make their plans and spring their traps. Don't bother me none. They paid me, so I said yes. Didn't bother to ask who or how or why didn't care. You chose to side with men who would rob us of our humanity simply because it was more profitable? What else is there? I'm not some blind fool who give up all I've got on principle. What is principle anyway? Can you bring it to the bank? Don't look at me like that. We're different, you and I. You're just some blind fool who's always chasing butterflies. Whereas I'm the type of guy who likes to have a beer in one hand and a tea in the other. Thing is, boy, I can have what I seek, had it even. You, your hands will always be empty. At ease, man! At ease! I said, lower your goddamn guns! This man's a hero! Oh, the general can be so stubborn sometimes. Piffle, he said, when we warned him something like this would happen. Piffle! Stop. He wanted to kill the commander. Nearly killed you as well. He was a scoundrel. 
but still a man. <clears throat> You're nothing if not consistent. Where is Washington? I need to speak with him. Bundled off as soon as your execution went sideways. He's likely on his way back to Philadelphia by now. And so am I. Something wrong? He is still in danger. Hickey did not act alone. 